take it about a place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us see inside your mind You'll find inspiration All I'm saying Hello everybody and welcome to my video today This is a little bit different for you guys today I have some Project Life pages that I'm going to be sharing with you that I created in the app. And these are pages that I have put together uh, with photos from all of the things that have been happening with the fire that is that happened last week that happened in our community. So if you guys follow me on social media, on Instagram or Facebook, you guys know that the fire that happened in Butte County uh, was very close to our home. Um, it was Our home was not in danger, but it was in our community and we definitely, it was very scary. We had friends and family that lost their homes and we had friends uh, that were fighting the fire. And so these are all photos that I have gathered and I put them in a Project Life. I used the Project Life app and I put them in pages. So I thought I would share those with you guys and just talk you through uh, some of the things that I did. So the first page I put together uh, was just of the fire. And the great thing about using Project Life is you can really save those screenshots of, I have screenshots from how big the fire uh at the area that it consumed. I have screenshots of the weather and stuff that was happening and it makes it super easy to put those items into these pages. This is a design e-page and I used uh, just the four uh, big squares right there to really show to showcase some of the pictures that came in that were really just very very amazing and I wanted to make sure that I documented some of the things that were happening because I really believe that documenting life is not just about when those things are perfect or just about those things that happen in your own home. Documenting life is about documenting the community that you live in and the things that happen around you. And this for sure is probably the biggest emergency in our own community that I have seen in a very long time. These were all the different fire, some of the different fire companies, fire departments that came in. And I thought this was such a cool way to document all the different uh, fire departments that came in. It was amazing to see these fire trucks come in. So it's really kind of neat. The fire base camp, uh, the fire fighter base camp is right across the street uh, from where we live. And so we got to see a lot of the firefighters coming and going. And then the National Guard that is still actually here, even though the fire is at 50% containment, uh, the National Guard is actually set up at our kids' school. So they don't have a playground right now because the National Guard is all set up. And it is quite a sight to see. So on this page, I just wanted to mention that that kind of map right there uh, was a map uh, of how big the fire was at a certain time. And then I also had a screenshot of uh, some of the information that had come in. And so um, it was really amazing to see that information come in. And then this last page was just about some of the donations and all of the things the community is doing for family uh, members and whatnot that have lost their home. Along with all the firefighters that are out uh, fighting the fire. And it has been really amazing to see our community pull together and really not only with just donations with food or clothing, but just how our community has pulled together in support of just everybody that is experiencing this. And it can really make me very emotional to see, but I'm just very proud uh, to live where I live and to just uh, see all that has happened. And so thankful that the fire is now um, under, you know, containment. And we're praying for the other counties here in California and towns that are experiencing um, fires just like we were. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these pages. There's much more information over on my website that you can get to by just clicking up in the corner. Um, it'll take you over to that coordinating blog post. And then I just want to thank you guys for sticking with me to the very end of my video. Of course, I have a couple other videos for you guys. I have a live event that I did where I made a that card that you see, that Christmas card. And you can click right there. And it's a very long uh, video. It's over an hour long, I believe, because it was a live event. And then I have the Hello December 2015 Project Life core kit. Um, not core kit, I'm sorry, just a uh, card kit that you guys can see by just clicking on that video. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Life is returning to normal for us around here. Our kids are back in school. And so next week I will be back with all my regular scheduled uh, videos and projects for you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.